A basic skill in Microsoft Word is the ability to format parts of your document. And when I use the term format, I'm talking about being able to bold parts of your document, being able to underline parts of your document, maybe change the, uh, the case of, of parts of your document and so on. This short little video that you're about to watch shows you some really fast ways that you can use the quick formatting toolbar in Microsoft Word or the ribbon in Microsoft Word in order to change parts of an existing document. Enjoy the video. I have a document open in Microsoft Word and I'll use this document to demonstrate to you the different methods for formatting parts of your Word document. The first step to be able to format parts of a document is to be able to select parts of the document first of all. And there's several ways of doing it. The first method is the one that uh, is most common with people. And all you need to do in a case like that is you need to select the text by using your mouse. So for example, if I want to change four or five words in the first line, I put my mouse before the first word that I want to change the look of. I'll get an I-beam shape. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and drag across the four or five words I want to change. And when I go up my mouse, a little quick formatting toolbar shows up. This quick formatting toolbar always shows up in Microsoft Word when you select something. I'll just move my mouse onto the little toolbar. And for example, I click on the bold button to make it darker. I may move across and maybe change the color of the font by clicking on the drop down arrow. And I could choose a color if I chose to as far as changing the color of it. If I wanted to make the font a little bit larger, I could go to the top part of this quick formatting toolbar and click on the font size box and choose a number off the drop down list. Or if I'm more of a visual person and I want to see what the increase of size of the font would look like relative to the rest of the document, I would go to the right of the font size box and click on the grow font button maybe once or twice to make that part of the document larger. I could also use the shrink font button to incrementally make the size of the font of the selected text smaller as well. So the first technique is to use an I-beam shape, hold your mouse button down and drag across the words that you want to change, and then use the buttons on the quick formatting toolbar to make the change. I'm just going to reverse these steps out by going to the undo button. The next option for, make, for making a change is to, select, is to use a different method for selecting. And the second method for selecting is really useful if you want to make, just make a change to a single word. So for example, in this case here, I want to, double, I want to, I want to underline the word outlook. So I just put my mouse, my mouse anywhere on the word that I want to make a change to. I'll get an I-beam shape. I'll do a double click on it. It'll quickly select the word for me. And then I'll move on to the quick formatting toolbar again. And I'm going to underline it perhaps maybe make it italics, and also click on the bold button. So again, to do this, all I do again is do a double click on the word, and I move on to the quick formatting toolbar to make whatever changes are appropriate. I'm going to reverse out those changes I just made. And the third method for selecting parts of your document so you can make a change to it is using, using your mouse as a line selector. When I take my mouse out into the left paragraph, I get an arrow that points up to the right. This arrow is called the line selector. And if, for example, if I want to make a change to the second line of the first paragraph, with the line selector out of the left margin, I'll click once. It selects that line. I'll move on to the ribbon, I'll start on to the quick formatting toolbar, and I'll click on the underline button to make the change. If, for example, I were to go to the left of that same paragraph again and get that line selector, if I did a double click, it'll select the entire paragraph. And again, I might make, want to make this bold, so I'll click on the bold button. And the third way I can use the line selector is if I want to select the entire document, again, I take my mouse out to the left margin, I get the line selector, and this time I'll do a triple click. So three clicks, and it selects, it selects the entire document. So the line selector is a great tool for allowing you to make changes to parts of your document. And again, all you do is you take your mouse out to the left margin and use that arrow to single click to get a line double click a paragraph, or triple click to get the entire document. Now, I've been using in this, in this video the quick formatting toolbar to make changes, but I can also use the ribbon to make changes as well. So this time I'll make a change to the second paragraph. I'll take my mouse out to the left margin, get the line selector, and double click. And I could use the little toolbar, but instead this time I'll go up to the ribbon. I've got more choices up here. I'm going to go to the right of the underlined button, and I now have some different choice, choices as far as different underlying styles. I can use Live Preview without actually clicking. I can just point at a different, a different choices. I'll click on this underlying style. I'll leave that paragraph still selected. I want to change the color of the underline. So I go to the drop down arrow next to underline. I move down to underline color. And I'll click on red. 
Now, if I want to turn underline off, all I need to do is go up to the underline button. I can tell it is turned on because of the color orange. If I click on the underline button, it will remove the underline from it for the time being. If I want to ch change the size of the font, rather than use the quick formatting toolbar like I did earlier in the video, I go up to the font box up in the ribbon. I can also use the row font button or the shrink font button to make a change. If I want to change the case of the paragraph, maybe I want to put this all in uppercase. Once, it's all, once that paragraph has been selected, I go to the change case button and click. And it shows me by the use of the words on this drop down list what the case would look like. So in this case, I'll click on uppercase, putting everything in the uppercase. I'll go back to the change case button again. Maybe I could click on capitalize each word, which means every word in that paragraph will have a capital letter to it. So there's several ways that you can make changes to parts of your document. You have to first of all select the text, and one way to select again is to get an eye beam shape and drag across the words. You can use the little toolbar to make the change, or go to the ribbon to make the change. A second method is to make a change to a single word by double clicking on the single word, and again using the quick formatting toolbar or the ribbon. And the third method is to select an entire line by using the line selector or an entire paragraph by double clicking with the line selector or to select the entire document by triple clicking with the line selector and then using the quick formatting toolbar or up to the ribbon to make changes. So there you have it, the steps that you'd go through to make formatting changes to parts of a document in Word 2010. The video showed you how you can use the quick formatting toolbar and the ribbon. Please uh, join us on our website. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. We have a, a wide range of videos helping to become more effective as you use Microsoft Office products. Thank you.